leave the gospel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the gospel for July the 10th, 2021, according to St. Matthew. Therefore, whoever hears this saying of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the wind blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine, and does not do them, will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the wind blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. And so it was, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. When he had come down from the mountains, from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leopard came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put, on, put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go your way. Show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony for them. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. Several years ago, God started calling me back to him. And the way he did was first he show he sh he shake he shaked my life quite a bit, and then he invited me to a small retreat from Cursillos de Christian that, and they have these beautiful words to actually make the bones of the gospel in your life. To make, to leave the gospel. I became part of that little group for a few years. I really loved it. It's a shame that they are in this uh, apostolic sea that just went away from the faithful. But today the Lord is telling us, the first part is telling us, that we should leave the gospel. It is not enough, not good enough at all to know the gospel or the sacred scripture if we do not live by it. If we are going to live by it, then everything will be fine. The gospel provides a beautiful explanation because when he talks about the house built either on rock or sand, it is our own life. Our own life is built either on Christ, who is, who is the absolute rock of the Lord, or on the sand of your own decisions, on your own goodness, the law, and everything else. The natural happenings of the world. You see, we all know that rain is absolutely necessary for the world to live. But it is a cycle. If water was just to be on the ocean, it would make no good for us. And thus God provided for rain, far away from the sea. So the sun will make mist, the mist will go up, and by the wind it will travel down inland, and it will condense, and it will fall down like rain, giving life to everything, to all the world. But it's not going to remain there. The water is going to get together, become a flood, become a river, and go back to its source, to the sea. So we have the floods and the rivers and the wind, which is all natural and good, but at uncertain times will put us on the crossable. In the same way, our life will be filled with everything that comes from itself. We'll be ill, we will be sick, we will age, everything. 
But if we are cemented, if we are founded on the rock of Christ, everything will be fine. We will not fall. Think about it. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.